<laughs> no, they're both sides, bro. Nah, nah, nah man, me. what's that? Yeah, you no, for real. You I'm for real, bro. <laughs> Why are you telling me that she's on your side, Rowley? What the hell? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No Care Podcast. <laughs> you know what this guy is? <laughs> because it is the nah, right. cap. <laughs> That's the only time we kept on this podcast. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, on the real though, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to again. It's that's a joke. He's just he's just fucking with me. I'm probably gonna take the six years. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome back to the No Care Podcast. Uh, what a way to start the episode, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're back, yeah, man. Means, uh, yeah, Pedro. New week, new episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I actually noticed eh, mm-hmm. the last episode we shot, even yeah. the one that we about to put out, mm-hmm. is that I speak a lot of Africans in the in the in the episode. Like I don't know why, but I just noticed. So yeah, no Africans for me. No, I actually but don't like Africans. Is it? Yeah, it's maybe my neighbors, man. So, also, oh, uh, at the farm now. Yeah, maybe. Ne. Yeah. No, but I actually really don't like Africans. But I, I so I know. But I find myself speaking a lot of Africans, okay. which is not like my go-to language. In fact, my Africans don't really like it. Like, yeah, I think because almost everyone speaks Africans now. So even niggas in the north are speaking. Africans. <laughs> well, they sound so weird, but they try so hard. <laughs> but uh, like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> accuse me, especially those Ongwediva guys or Shagadi guys. You should hear them speaking Afrikaans, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now nah, I get you. I hear you. So, but, you know, I find myself speaking mostly Afrikaans when mm-hmm. I'm with like with my brothers. Like, let's say if I'm chilling with you, yeah. and then the Afrikaans would. Yeah, but on the on this platform, I don't want to be speaking Afrikaans. <clears throat> yeah, because also like you know when we have to um, create the videos that we post, mm-hmm. and then the subtitles. Now you have to write them in Afrikaans and put them in double quotation. And oh, whatever. okay, okay. I yeah. get you, I get you. But yeah, Fair oh, enough. you know what I want us to add to this name? Mm-hmm. This actually, um, somewhere there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay. um, kick, it, kick it off, man. Let's, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure you've, you've been seeing the, the tweets on Twitter and screenshots on people's statuses. Mm-hmm. This whole uh, 60 billion thing. Bro. Is it the credit? I think credit union of Namibia. If I'm not what the hell is credit union? Even? Dude, that it just came out of nowhere, and I don't know, but something is dodgy here. Something just doesn't add up. Sixty billion a company we've never heard of to begin with, and has there been anyone who has looked it up on on Vipa even to see if it's actually registered? Bruh, even just their car logo just seems like those. Quick, quick made Shandis, you know. <laughs> Whoever made it is the one that made the poster for Big Brother Namibia. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, I don't know whether maybe um, maybe the information on the amounts is not accurate because 60 billion is a whole lot of money. Bro, it's not, it's not 60 million, it's billion. billion. So, I don't know. It just, for me, it just doesn't make sense, bro. Also, how do you still 60 billion, bro? How do you? Yeah. Wait, you know there was someone who was who um I read something. Let me just mm-hmm. <clears throat> try and, and read it. He said, "Somebody help me understand who are they?" Like mm-hmm. sixty billion question mark, ne? an amount larger than any commercial commercial bank in Namibia's assets. Like bent bent total um estimated assets are mm-hmm. about forty seven billion. Okay. F and B estimated plus forty three billion. Standard Bank. Um, estimated plus 35 billion mm-hmm. net bank estimated plus 22 billion eh? mm-hmm. capricorn group um, an estimator of 60 billion plus inclusive of bank budget and then um, she goes to say this robbery is equivalent to stealing the whole of standard bank and net bank. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and you know um she's talking about total assets, assets. imagine so it's not even like money yeah. money like hard cash and she's even she even goes to say like me um, did the news media do some um, due diligence mm-hmm. before reporting on this? Uh, we have a lot of questions. Or is this digital coins? 
but but still either way even if it is digital coins i think it's just yeah. that, that amount just uh, doesn't doesn't make sense so probably i don't know me i'm pinning this on the but newspaper also, outlets i think maybe they just so-called investors what investors are these that are investing this kind of money but <laughs> like nah it doesn't add up nah no. nah 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 <laughs> Nah, something, and now I'm looking at the logo again. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Uh, see you, see you in. But there are people like <laughs> showing at their level. What is missing is an eat this ball can't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> wow, wow. I did wow, say that. Wow. But okay, cool. Um, wow. Ish. But on the real though, like, Hey, we are eating a lot in this country, yo. Dude, every, every <laughs> single day, everyone is eating. It's just... <laughs> exactly, you know, exactly. like... Hmm? Yeah. Um, <laughs> our our brain in the background is just saying, like, third episode where we're talking about money. Yeah. And it's just money being eaten. It's, <laughs> it's not bad. Like, every headline, every day when you take the Namibian sun, it's just money stolen somewhere or... Just Pastors are eating, bra. ministers are eating, uh, yes, yes. funny business people are eating. Teachers are now also eating, they are swindling other people. What, what's going on? What's up with that, bro? <laughs> that's a, that's a, the teacher swindler. What's up with that, bro? <laughs> like that nigga, yo. yo. <laughs> he always said, he always said, his salary is not enough. <laughs> While the president is telling these guys to put one poly, one poly, so he's like, "Hey, I got time for this nonsense. We have about my thing." <laughs> yeah, because the president was like, "What? Help yourself or okay. something? Something about the government helps those who help <laughs> themselves." So <laughs> so <laughs> so you can take it the other <laughs> way, bro. It's not me help yourself to to a million with other people's money. money. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, it's crazy. Like honestly, like. It's like everyone is eating. Mm-hmm. There are just levels to this eating. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you you put yourself in your own bracket to say, oh, people are eating sixty billion. Uh, that's that's just in like one one million. That's why they always say eat eat where you can eat because yeah. you get maybe like um these cooks maybe like um it's, yeah it's a cook mm-hmm. like those um the cooks in the hostels or something yeah. Yeah, th- but I'm sure those people still meet and shandies from <laughs> first milk, all those shandies. I'm sure they still, <laughs> I'm sure they still. So at the end of the day, just eat where you can at your level, bro. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, shit, man. Yeah. Okay, um, no, not that I'm encouraging <laughs> people to steal <laughs> or anything, but but that's the trend now. So yeah, but it's, people are chowing at their levels. It's crazy, like. I don't know what's the motive behind it. Are we hungry? Um, it's like the economic situation that bad. People are angry, bro. Yo. Everyone wants a slice of something. So I don't know, man. But it, yeah, it's getting out of hand, bro. Yeah. I, I, I like that guy, the teacher guy. I think he swindled 14 people. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. I think 14. And, 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 and you must just imagine, like, yeah, it's like people's not even imagine you already know it's like people's hard-earned money and it's money if you had known that you could have placed to to good use yeah but was he arrested though um yes 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 <laughs> i read yeah i read something about this in south africa yeah jeez man yeah, only yeah. popping yeah. bottles in sent and <laughs> <Conker. laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah yeah shit if you think about it like that's money you could have you know, paid for your son, daughter, school fees yeah. for like a good three years or university tuition fee or something, invested it somewhere, well, not in CUN, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. And some people probably even took personal loans, just like, let me take a Kayang, 70k, 80k, so I can get a whip. It's now insane. you're paying off a loan, you don't have anything to show for it. It's, it's crazy, bro. Uh, and you know, nothing hurts more than... Um, paying for a vehicle you're not driving like yeah, let's say yeah. even <clears throat> in a normal situation mm-hmm. where you take a loan from a bank mm-hmm. you get a vehicle and let's say the car gets written off and you were drunk yeah yeah and then the insurance says ah we're not covering this now you must be 
paying for this every month or whatever Imagine. because you took a loan mm-hmm. and you're not driving the car. And it's a similar situation as well. I'm probably going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely. Let's say you took a 200k and you you are paying it off now, but now you're not even driving the car. <laughs> and there's no way you're gonna go convince a bank which are ah. The other, <laughs> the other teacher. I was botched. <laughs> I was botched by the teacher. Same, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But but um, speaking about um, teachers mm-hmm. um, and also a, a topic we we touched on, what are your thoughts with with uh, with the president saying um, the basically the teachers must help themselves? Well, not not in the sense of the. <laughs> in the sense of <laughs> I don't know, but um, who who are advising our president? Is there someone that actually writes, like I don't know, speeches for the guy, or just advises the guy on what he should say, or yeah. does he have like a personal advisor in that capacity? Because the things that homie has been spewing lately. Nah, man, <laughs> it's shocking, bro. Can it, um, it's shocking. It's, from hugs, if you, if you, if you are okay, he's not gonna watch this. Oh, no, maybe someone will <laughs> share, but like, you cannot, you cannot say, um, such things to people who are already underpaid. Yeah? Imagine. And most of the times, when we're talking about, hey, are they looking for the teacher swing plan? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe the homie came back. <laughs> but anyways, like in 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 village schools, yeah, there's already a lot of suffering going mm. on. And whatever people are already suffering, um, the morale is already down. Like you are most likely living in the bush and whatnot. And um, you you can't tell people to come cook in tins and yeah. put up a, a, a makeshift shelter or whatever, <laughs> cut poles and whatnot. Talk about kicking a man when he's already down. Exactly, like. And um, like it's it's easy to say me eh, when you are sitting in your nice um, office, office under your air AC whatever, on, whatever, yeah, whatever. yeah. And also, like you cannot say that um, where are the schools that people keep talking about kids being taught under the trees? Like this, I think is being posted in the newspapers on exactly. a, on a regular basis or whatever. How can you not see these things and you just no? Uh, it's it's dub- it's double standards from him actually because. When, when politicians are campaigning to mm-hmm. be elected, they, they are always out there selling dreams to the nation. And that was one, one of his um, points during his, his campaign. His campaign yeah. yeah, he was like, nah, um, no kids will be taught under trees or anything. He's going to build more schools and all that. And now he's saying apparently he doesn't know of this hardship. He has never encountered it. Come on. He has never seen kids being taught under trees. Like, dude, like I, I have, I have personally witnessed yeah. it in my in my own capacity. Well, because I've, I've been fortunate enough to to travel to very mm-hmm. remote places and see what's actually happening on the ground because of my work and whatnot. Um, well, fortunate in a way that I've been to the places not to say that what I've seen was something good to see. Yeah, like I've been to schools where you would go there and there's like no water at all. You know, mm-hmm. or the water mm-hmm. is closed down, or whatever. Like the 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 hardships in this remote villages and whatever are extreme, bro. It is extreme. It like is, imagine, is, like is. now with the floods and whatnot, you are uh, having to cross water, and now there are even snakes. Mm-hmm. And yes. now the president says, "Come on, we used to go cut grass when we were at school and whatever. So now you must come. You're you've already walked crossing so many um, mm-hmm. ocean pens in the, the water." Now you must come take a, a shovel and cut them or whatever. Yeah, dude, and, and they're just expecting so much from teachers. Yeah. Teachers must buy laptops. Uh, teachers must make <laughs> <laughs> makeshift infrastructures. <laughs> teachers, nah, man, cut the teachers some yeah. slack, bro. And like, look, okay, uh, maybe you can say um, the kids can clean up at the school or whatever, but really there's some responsibilities ne, that the government just really has to come. Mm. Ne? You 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 can you can award money to go buy um, MP phones, but you cannot award money to build um, uh, necessary shelters at schools. Like does that make any sense? Like where's the 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 logic in that? Yeah, man. Ah, no, we Oh, there I go with the Africans. <laughs> no, it's like, understandable. Yeah, you can throw we, it. We, we need to in, find a balance in there somewhere. Like I think the problem with our country um, 
in, in the system that's mm. running our country is that we are not prioritizing what is most important to, to the masses. Yes. It's just yes. to yes. Yes. the people who are already fortunate mm-hmm. and whatever, they, they are the ones who are concentrating on yes. you know. And that's like the biggest problem that I have with, with our government currently. But it's really sad, man. It is. And, and you know what? And you know what's sad as well, eh? Mm. Most of the times, or majority of the people that that have actually put them in power, people in the villages, bro. bro. That's a thing. It's people suffering. That's a thing. Yeah. And a lot of times, like many of these politicians, mm-hmm. really don't go on the ground to see what's happening. Nah, nah, nah. Like, make make some time to go to you know. Uh, those like remote places like yeah. Impalila Island, Ibu, um, Schuchmansburg or whatever. It's like even places there in the in the northeastern mm-hmm. like, uh, that Opo side. Mm-hmm. There's a a place I can't remember the name at the top of my head now. It's like far, bro. Like and you know the gravel is so bad. Mm-hmm. Right? Like chances are if you drive with whatever four by four, you're gonna get a puncture. The road is yeah. so bad. Um, like even like now mm-hmm. with the rainy season. Those, there's no way those guys can come to to the town, which is a poor, which is also not really a big town, right? yeah, yeah. because of like there's so many riverbeds you have to cross, and even when the water starts drying off, mm-hmm. it's the mud, so mm-hmm. like no one can really drive to that place. And now you can imagine, um, you can't take like medical supplies, you yeah. can't take um, yes. supplies for the education system and whatever. It's really bad, but you don't see these things when you are when you are in your you know, proper you know. office. Yep. Yeah, those people only know how to be on the ground when it's time to campaign. That's just, that's just yeah. the same part, yeah. Yeah. Ish. That's rough, man. It is, it is. It, also, not to try and justify, like when we have this sort of deep conversation and you, you really start to think how bad the situation is, mm-hmm. it kind of also just starts to make sense why people are stealing so much. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, <laughs> the dementia is only. Yeah, like, no. You know, and I'm yeah, not no. talking about no. now um, the people who are already rich. That's just greed. Yeah, the ones yeah. who are now enriching themselves with millions and millions of dollars of tenders, or whatever. Like I'm just talking about now. You know, in the general. basic people who are mm-hmm. uh, breaking into houses, um, um, swindling people, pretending to sell cars or whatever. Yeah. Like I'm not really trying to justify um, the. The, them be the theft or whatever mm-hmm. but it's just like the situation is really so bad that it misses it on there if, yeah, you, if you think about it yeah. tough times yeah no. i said man but ish. sometimes I, I i i think to myself man, with our current president man, mm. i had i honestly had so much hope oh like, my goodness i had so much hope and i i'm not gonna be disrespectful in any way or whatever but like for an educated man, the first educated president that you can see, like someone who really understands, mm-hmm. who can apply logic to the basic things. Yeah, yeah. So many high expectations, you know. I think when I first voted, he was the first person yeah, I, yeah, I voted. Yeah, me, me too. But but now, like you were saying earlier, what does he want to be remembered as? Yeah, you know, like when his when his term is over, what will we remember him as? You know. Yeah, I know that nigga sold his dreams, yeah. bro. Like. We were all sold, bro. I think he had like the highest win percentage. Yeah, especially the young, yeah, like, especially the young people. Yeah, we believed, bro. We did, bro. We we went out in all numbers. We really voted in. Yeah. So uh, sad, bro. Yeah, and it's also crazy now how this has become like a whole political episode. Which yeah, was not the plan. I think we should but, have like a segment on politics, on politics. <laughs> like no care politics, no care politics. because <laughs> previously on no care politics. Yeah. No, seriously, because ah, uh, our government is just. But yeah, um, let's to break some eyes. Um, okay, remember when when at the very beginning we mm-hmm. said this podcast is not to really talk about people and their stories and get into people's business or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the former Mr. Namibia, man, what's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chelsea. Yeah. You know, I, I read a tweet, <laughs> mm. <laughs> how can you, <laughs> how can you date a girl named after a soccer team and expect not to be played? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was that was hard, bro. Jeez, 
And that is cold. You guys are heartless on Twitter, bro. Like <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, yo, 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 yo guys, too soon. <laughs> yo, 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 too yo, soon. Yo, yo. Shit, man. Too soon. Well, I'm, and I'm a Chelsea fan. Well, Chelsea the team, not the Chelsea the. Jeez, no, the cheater. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing, man. Eh? If you are some sort of a influencer, celebrity, mm-hmm. or whatever, man, eh? it's like almost inevitable that. Um, people will be in your business, mm-hmm. you know, like um, a lot of people who are going to be <clears throat> out there to try and be holier than thou in gaslight hair and yeah, charge yeah. hair and whatever. Um, also, we don't know what's the ins and outs of that relationship with her partner or previous yeah. partner. Whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say a lot of things, but um, they are most likely also doing the same thing. Like a lot of people cheat. Mm-hmm. People get cheated on, people cheat back, they don't cheat back, people get heartbroken, they cry, mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, people make mistakes as well. It's just unfortunate that yeah. she's in the public eye, exactly. so it's a whole yeah. big thing. But yeah. then, yeah. So, like, I'm not going to be here and condone cheating or whatever, but also, also I'm not going to judge anyone for cheating. But my Chelsea also, my name, how do you cheat me and let another nigga knock in you and knock you out? That is like... <laughs> The dumbest thing you could do. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, like, like kick, if you are if you are in a relationship yeah. man, and then you go cheat, nah, shut. Mm. Why are you letting Putting yourself get yeah, pregnant? Exactly. You get it? Yeah. Just let another nigga bust a nut like that. What if maybe she <laughs> what if what yeah, if maybe she wanted out of the relationship and she couldn't get the nigga to like leave or something and then she's like, you know what? Well, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's we don't know the yeah, ins and outs of the relationship. Yeah. And again, everything we're saying here is just speculation based yeah, yeah. on on what we've read or whatever. We are not coming after her or whatever. We are not trying to paint a bad light or whatever. I mean, yeah, she's just once um, uh, Mr. Mabia, yeah, so yeah, she yeah. was the crown beauty of the country. Um, yeah, but ish, it's sad. It's rough, man. Yeah, it's rough. Homie. It's rough. <laughs> But that's a, the saddest thing is like Omi, eh? Omi went and edited on was it Instagram or what? <laughs> hey, Omi was he was touched, bro. <laughs> Omi, Omi got hurt, bro. Oh, shame, man. Hey, it's but like, love her. <laughs> they will hurt you. <laughs> they will hurt you. Yeah, ne. Yeah, mjolo, mjolo. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing that I'm, I keep saying, eh? The fact that you are famous and people know you on even it mm-hmm. just look, makes it look so bad. It could have been Damn, anyone exactly. else that, that, that cheated or got cheated on and got knocked up or knocked mm-hmm. up somebody. It wouldn't be that much of a big deal, mm-hmm. you know. So, so bad. Even the Namibia went to go. But, uh, ish, I then guess the Namibian come out the Namibia, sorry. I guess that, that's uh, that, uh, what comes with the fame. Yeah. yeah. Please, famous people. Gucci, strap up. <laughs> this is the lesson we are learning from this. <laughs> 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 ah, shame, man. Said, yeah, but hey, med love, Chelsea. Um, if you wanna come on the podcast, we would love to sit down and talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe then you can explain what exactly happened. Mm. And what not. Yeah. Then we can, yeah, we can get yeah. her side of this story. As, and, as opposed to yeah. this hearsay, what was you what? Know? You know. For all we know. The homie was just hating on you and you didn't even cheat or exactly. you didn't even, you are not even pregnant. Exactly. So, yeah. Or you could be pregnant also, so congratulations, I guess. Or maybe homie cheated and you took your pain. Revenge. We don't know. We don't so know. just come on up. Come on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> so brief man. Um yeah, once with this is I'm gonna DM and send her the link. Yeah. yeah, let her watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh sure. Speaking of other famous people, mm-hmm. hey, my brother Michael. Yeah, age. Hey. Michael, Michael, Michael. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love that homie on the phone. Michael is tough, bro. <laughs> you know, you went to one of the. I saw a video. The police, the way he was at the station. Yeah, and then, yeah. Michael yeah. said, don't cheat. He said, arrest that criminal. That nigga is a G, bro. And he's recording it. I think the. the, the then the, one lady, I think. Yeah, the police officer was mad. She grabbed the phone, like, I'm sure you cannot do that. <laughs> so, um, okay, with Michael, it's just the whole. um. The post that was on, 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 I don't know, I think it was on his Facebook as well as Instagram. Mm-hmm. The one that has been circulating around. And then the Namibian censorship, yo, yeah. what's the word? Sensationalized. Mother tongue interference. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, they did that to the headline, and then they were like, oh, "What? Um, <laughs> my enemies are after me. <laughs> Send money, not prayers." <laughs> what? <laughs> But I'm not even lucky. Eight of my own years. Nah, they do, bro. <laughs> and then also, um, there are people now after their headline that have been ridiculing him on social media and all that. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yo, we tend to to be ungrateful at times, oh, and bro. and we also f- we're so quick, so fast to forget all the good that he's been doing. doing yeah lately like just like everything that, bro. just like that bro distance. all of a sudden is the joke now mm-hmm. everyone is making jokes about it and yeah. it's just sad bro yeah you know i i it's watched sad. i watched the video <clears throat> where he was explaining what exactly had happened mm-hmm. um i think he said um the namibian didn't <clears throat> actually call him or or he called someone there and they didn't want to hear him out what the post meant or whatever yeah yeah and he also mentioned in the in the video that there were some people who were taking advantage of the situation mm-hmm. where they they have created like fake accounts with his name and whatever mm-hmm. and profile photo and whatnot and then use the text that was there and then put their account details and whatever to try and get money and then they've been sharing this and whatever. If, yeah. If so if then he made this. he made yeah. Like I said, we are trying to eat in this country. We are eating. Every small opportunity you get, you tell lies. And then they would say, "It's not one no opportunity." <laughs> so yeah. Um, so basically, what he was saying in the mm. video is that, or oh, what well, he was trying to explain himself. Yeah. So he said, "Look, apparently, um, and I'm gonna try and paraphrase this based yeah. on what he said. Apparently, um, the government." Or people are trying to take him out. I mean, like by taking him out, trying to kill him. Oh, like assassinate destroy. vibes. Exactly. And according to the so his sources, the mm. way they want to do this is mm. they're gonna make it look like a house breaking or some some sort. And then through that, through the process, then they're gonna kill him, and then it will look like someone tried uh, to rob him or whatever. Or very then, gone wrong. Exactly. That's what he was saying, or that's what he said in the video. Mm-hmm. And then he said, now the, um, he acknowledges that the things he's been doing lately are very dangerous because his life is at stake. And if he happens to die, he's asking the nation mm-hmm. that, look, if I die today, you are going to be on the internet saying I was a hero, I've done this and this, mm-hmm. and you're grateful and whatever. So um, basically, or in a nutshell, what he's saying is, like, let's give him his flowers now while he's alive. To say, if anything happens to me, I'm asking the nation to send money to my wife's account number, yeah? so that if I die today, at least she will have some money behind mm, whatever. Okay. Yeah, because um, heroism and whatever is not gonna feed his family. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. True, so he's saying, true. rather than um, us always just saying we are keeping him in prayers, in and, prayers whatever, uh, and all those things, okay. because prayers are not gonna take care of his family. Because true. now he's dedicated to this new cause that he's out there doing being an activist and mm-hmm. you know fighting for the less fortunate in their rights and whatnot so we the people should send him money so that's basically what he was saying mm-hmm. yeah but i mean it kind of makes sense it but makes it, sense yeah. because he's he's not forcing anyone to send him and money. He, he bluntly did say that to say i am not forcing anyone to send me mm-hmm. or my wife money that's what he said mm-hmm. that yeah he says those who want to show gratitude yes. yeah whatever so yeah, no, I'm just glad we, we we got it, yeah, straight out like straight facts and everything because. But that's but that's another sad thing like how we as human beings are really so quick to forget, like someone will be doing such good for a certain period of time and mm-hmm. you do one the wrong thing and everything else that that, that they have done for you it flushes out the information yeah. about it you know yeah the human nature yep. Yeah, uh, that's about it for Michael. Um, let's move on to uh, Namran. Put the same. Ish, that nigga. I feel like he's, 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 <laughs> he's ruling with an iron fist or something, but that guy is on some. He's on to something, and I kind of see what he's trying to, what he's trying to do, but also it's kind of unfair on on other people as well especially yeah. like um people just trying to make a living and all that because dude the unemployment rate is cock high it's crazy bro it's cock cock high so a lot of people make sad from 
those um, order with mission this and all that. And now I think it's passing a new a rule or law, something about texting phones as well. You know, you can do that order with me, like yeah, yeah. phones and phones stuff. And stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to add like more text on that and those shandies as well. So at the end of the day, even if you buy something to come and resell, the tax that you're going to pay, pay on top of it. Space, yeah, yeah so at the end of the day, you're not, yeah, you're not making like anything out of it. Yeah. And it's just... So then why bother? It's unfair, bro. And I read an article where they made... Um, not sure. I think we'll, we'll, we'll search for it later and then put a link to the article. Mm. I'm not sure whether it was 12 billion or 16 billion that they made in revenue in oh. six months. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, it wasn't that high, bro. It was, oh, no, no, no. It was like... I think about two to six. I don't remember. But I, I, I think I, I see what you. I, I remember it also. Yeah, which which goes to show that the government was being sure of um, um, tax returns. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but but again, I think there must be um, some sort of some sort of a leeway to say people who are um, are trying like you know that a lot of people don't don't even own a, a shop or or. A, uh, a more what is it your brick and mortar business they mm-hmm. sell from their the homes and, yeah and online or whatever mm-hmm. just get the bags and they ship them and whatnot so i think for those kind of businesses they must let the, uh, the people be on and you know and, and this takes me back to uh michael mm-hmm. remember when he went to the china county mm-hmm. he was saying look you um it customs they're keeping those things and whatnot yeah um, because yeah because they're uh, apparently uh, uh, counterfeit goods. counterfeit goods yeah and you have a whole chinatown there that's selling counterfeit goods you know everything in chinatown is it's just counterfeit a bro yeah. everything and, and again the double standards but you are letting um the the i have nothing against the chinese but you are letting the chinese do mm. whatever they want, want and you are letting your own people suffer exactly you know yeah. and those niggas don't even most of the times they don't pay tax as well so it's not even like you're benefit, benefiting from them selling the stuff and all that. So, so the whole Namra thing they ran with the, with the uniform and yeah. whatnot. But if you're killing your own people like this, their businesses, where's the patriotism in that? You know, even with as many stars, stars and the most and you or whatever. Like, it's, it's, okay, it's okay, we must serve, serve the government, but also we mustn't forget our own people. Also looking at the situation, like just check like last year how many rituals failed and whatnot. Yeah. You know? So the, again, a lot of Kids were unemployed, mm-hmm. and now you're at least having your order by me business. And you're selling from from Instagram or whatever, bringing a few coins. But with this, fish. now you're killing, killing the kids, man. Yeah. Killing the businesses. It's just. Yeah, I think they yeah. must just find a right balance. Like just strike a balance. Don't. Like galamat bigi air, man. That's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a bit too much. Yeah, but yeah, uh, let's move on. Let's Anyways, move on. um. Just an article that I came across, I think, somewhere beginning of the week, mm-hmm. on this other guy um, who is a security guard in the evening, and then during the day, he sees oh, a student. Damn. Yeah, just shout out to that homie, though. That's that, commendable, man. Yeah. That's, that's okay, cool. commendable. That, 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 that homie, that homie should be like motivation to a lot of people because yeah. he's proving that it's possible. Like if you if you really put your mind to it, set your mind to it, yeah. now anything is possible. So that's, that's big tough, shout out to the that's homie. Tough, yeah. That's tough. It like, is. Yo, it's, it is that's because really, really commendable. So working as a guard to to obviously um, make ends meet, make, make ends meet as well as support. I think his mom yeah. and a sibling. That's tough. So yeah, shout out to the homie, man. I I hope he big shout out, big shout out from the No Care Podcast. Yeah. Uh, can only wish for for the best for him like yeah man hope he passes well go to varsity and just yeah because yeah home is putting in the work Salute, bro. Man. Salute. yeah yeah nah, that's nah. very commendable tough, tough, tough. yeah and then uh one last thing i i i wanted us to talk about mm-hmm. um um it's more on technology front end and i think it's maybe something we could have put at the beginning of the episode but nonetheless um we can talk about it now uh chat gpt mm-hmm. GPT. Um, well, the only reason why I want us to talk about it is, so I was I was at work, I was running a script or whatever, and I had it 
um, I had the, the AI fix it for me. And yeah. I took a screenshot of, mm-hmm. not a screenshot, I took a video of the AI actually fixing the, the code that for code, me yeah. and I posted it. And then um, some girl, I don't remember her name, mm-hmm. but she's a fan of the podcast. Mm-hmm. She, so she had like followed our podcast channel and then she followed me and then she saw the video. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she DM'd me and she's like, Oh, well, first she, she had sent a DM on the podcast group mm. just to say, uh, she said, I'm an instant fan, something, something. Um, I just started watching two videos and I like the podcast and I, I'm going to watch the rest. You guys are doing a good job, whatever. Again, Sorry. goes back to the love. Shout out to her. Yeah. And then so she saw my video and she was like, uh, what is this thing exactly? I've been trying to, you know, use it and whatnot, mm-hmm. and whatnot and what, but um, I've been struggling and whatnot. Um, I couldn't actually get it to work or every time it's like it says it's full or whatever yeah yeah so then i just wanted to ask to talk about it because i feel like um especially people who are watching the podcast some of you are students um some of you are jobs some of you might not be um might be unemployed i feel there's like a tool that you a lot of people can utilize to mm-hmm. get something out of it like it doesn't matter who you are there's something out there that you can get out of of this this app so basically what um, chat GBT is, is an artificial intelligence uh, program, um, which obviously has been fed, fed a lot of data information, whatever. And it's like a very smart tool. It can, I would say, literally do anything, but not anything, like mm-hmm. anything virtual it can do. If it can't, it can guide you in a sense. So hypothetically speaking, let's say you were looking for a job um, and you have to write a cover letter or whatnot you can um, write it and be specific to say, um, um, write me a cover letter for a job as, uh, you can be specific, let's say as a, uh, I almost said gynecologist, but in my head I was like, why am I going to say that? You know? oh, why? Exactly. Um, a job as a geologist, as an example. <clears throat> and then it will write you uh, a short cover letter or whatever, and then you could even change the same text that you wrote to say, write me a uh, descriptive you know so it's very english focused on like the more info you feed it the more output you get and then it will write you that as an example you know or let's say you want it you are trying to be funny write me a um, uh, love song or uh, a rap on on laptops or whatever and then it will put out some few bars and whatever mm-hmm. it's, it's really dope um so like in my in my case i work in um, IT, like um, I work with code here and there. So let's say if I, it can write literally any language for you, be it JavaScript, um, C sharp, um, let's say web development, your HTML, uh, CSS, anything. I mean, it's that thing is flippant sharp. Um, but don't you think it also comes with uh, with some cons? Because if you look at it, if it's able to write code and everything then in a way isn't gonna isn't that going to lead to people becoming redundant at their workplaces because if you have a tool like that and you want an app and you just instead of maybe having five software engineers or six maybe you just have two guys and then they work on yeah. that chat gpt yeah. thing well you in a way you're right i mean uh with also forms of power comes mm-hmm. some sort of um, responsibility um, but so it depends again how how you how you use it yeah? um, like let's say for on a, in, an, in an academic uh, perspective mm-hmm. that thing can write for you a thesis paper with references and whatever and perfect english the grammar everything is good so that that's like a, a drawback or whatever but to come back to your question um, to a certain point, it still requires some human input, you mm-hmm. know, because um, at the end of the day, you still need someone to understand that 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 um, uh, a human aspect that is needed. Because, like, let's say in a work in a work scenario, if you have let's say now um, one developer, yeah, but now it's a lot of work for him to understand, let's say, different five different process flows, mm-hmm. because even the AI. Even if as much as this AI is, it it's not smart in, enough to figure out that okay, 
we have HR as an example, and we have finance, and we have um, IT. How these three business units work together based on the the setting of the specific organization you you are in. So, like, let's say um, if you have as an example um, um, in in your in your aviation industry, yeah? mm -hmm. let's let's look at let's look at um, approach and tower mm -hmm. and maybe area, yeah? and then you have like two or three colleagues or whatever. Now you want you want to write uh, um, software that that maybe like a messaging thingy to connect the three of them, but um, it needs to understand like let's say the qualifications of the different people that work on the or the experience that different people work on the separate um, positions. Yeah? The AI will not be able or be in a position to figure that out. So it, it still requires that human human interaction for someone to understand the things on the ground and how the interlinkage between the, the different things. Because now again, I know what you're saying, but um, it would you have you have one person who just needs to understand the situation on the ground and then let the AI help him. But to what extent is is are they going to do this? Because now you have um, let's say multiple projects that you have to work on and multiple things to understand, which can be done by a lot of people with less um, workload and a more output than having yeah just one person who's but you know where the world is headed to mm -hmm. we're doing a lot of cost cutting yeah so big corporations by all means are gonna look always gonna try and take the easy way out which is cut yeah. cost That's and awesome. and like a lot of corporations have been laying off people yeah I checked. like a lot of people have been getting laid off yeah. so i feel like this in a way it's just going to aid the process as well. Because the more you feed it information as well, because it's fairly new, yeah. I'm sure if you give it, I don't know, maybe a good five, ten years, I'm sure it's going to be at the level where... Um, yeah. So, so I, I, it, it, in, as much, in as much as it's really like yeah. this proper super tool, I feel like it does come with its yeah. drawbacks. Yeah. And it, they're not, for me at the moment, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Yeah, it's but you not know, looking you good. See, you see this again, like you make a very valid and very strong point. And like you said, a lot of these big corporations like like um, uh, Microsoft is an mm -hmm. example. Um, I saw Zoom also today, I think laying off about uh, 1,500 employees, just 15% of their whole workforce. You, you were right when you say that. But again, mm -hmm. um, on the other side of the line, let's say you get, you get, you get laid off and you're unemployed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have now a tool that can aid you in, let's say, becoming um, uh, for people to become self-sustainable in a way where you can now use it to, let's say, um, write up a business proposal, or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, to become self-reliant and self-independent from working from working for your employer. Yeah. Because now there's a tool that can actually help you um, get the type of information that. Um, a lot of us didn't have access to or you couldn't even find on Google mm -hmm. where Google will find you a link to a paid ad and then you say sign up what 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 and then yeah, you go yeah. there pay how much how much for mm -hmm. you know such a thing so now like um, I saw someone who was saying um, if you are looking for cover letters or whatever mm -hmm. I, I, <laughs> I I write cover letters <laughs> very affordable TV <laughs> see okay, but obviously you can just see that this person yeah, yeah, they are smart yeah, <laughs> being specific to say any job you want to write a cover letter mm -hmm. or whatever just say how many words you want yeah, or, you know or this is how people now start doing assignments or whatever mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah so as much as it, it, it is a negative it, it has a lot of negative things to it yeah there's some there's some positive positives yeah, true. to it as well yeah so yeah in a nutshell that's that's what the tool does um it's it's a very dangerous time we're living in because yeah like you said our jobs uh at, at, at risk uh, yeah but it's it's a super tool though i've yeah. used it a couple of times and yeah, yeah like no nah, it's, it's, it's your it's still it's something like, else. remember the other day when we were at safari mm -hmm. and we asked it to write uh, departure clearance. Oh yeah, yes, yes. You know, from I think was it uh, London Heathrow to JFK. To, to JFK. Yeah. yeah, and it just it just writes. And imagine like aviation is a very niche type of yeah. You know, it's not like that where 
you, you will know the general things. Oh, they are pilots, they are aircraft engineers, they are ATCs, whatever. Like you but could this, literally, yeah. sorry to catch off, you could literally Google a departure clearance, like a specific departure clearance, yeah. and Google won't show up. No, like, no, no way. You won't get any results, no, bro. No, no, no results. And I remember yo, in that clearance it even gave the runway. Yeah, you know, everything, dude. Like parting from, and it's very specific to the actual runway that is at the Flippin Airport. And That's even the amazing. different sectors that you, so you from tower contact approach approach crazy. contact crazy. area then contact uh, oceanic. It was just yeah, it was super That's, dope. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh-huh. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna wrap that up. I think now I'm saying like this is the most serious, serious, serious. Most informative, informative episode yeah, we've ever had. If I think about it, because mm-hmm. everything we have just, yeah. And then that, the 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 podcast is very versatile. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's it's. I mean, it, it's for all audiences actually. Thanks. So yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So that's about it. Um. Thank you guys again for tuning in. We really love and appreciate you guys. And again, um, we cannot stress this enough. The love we've been getting these days for the podcast overwhelming it's amazing um, yeah. so keep on liking sharing and uh, yeah the comments guys drop a comment that's the wrong and subscribe subscribe and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe guys please yeah no cap podcast yeah, we are. Out. no cap just kidding talks <laughs> 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 <laughs>